Is the new Apple Series 9 or Ultra 2 watches worth it this year? Let's discuss what's new. Did you get to see the Apple event this week and the introduction of the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Ultra 2? If not, you're in luck. I'll hit on some of the high points from that presentation here today about these new watches. Let's take a look at some of the new features with the Series 9 and Ultra 2. This year, the new S9 chip will be inside both the Series 9 and Ultra 2. Now, the new chip allows for a number of innovations according to Apple. So the main feature is the double tap feature where you can double tap your index and thumb to use the watch when your other hand is occupied. So if you just have one hand, you can simply do that to answer a call, play and pause music, stop a timer, reply to a message, and other things by just using that one hand. Now Series 9 can also boost the brightness up to 2000 nits while you're in the sunlight, which is great. And it goes down to one nit in low light settings. The Ultra 2 does the exact same thing, except its brightness goes up to 3000 nits for in the sunlight. Now Siri is expected to work better on the new watches and you can ask Siri about your health data as well. Now HomePod is integrated and precision finding is there with the new watches. Now this allows you to, basically it takes you directly to your iPhone. So wherever it is, you can follow it on the watch and it'll take you right there. Now, I believe all these features are only for the new watches, but I'm curious to see if any may be available with the original Ultra. I've had the Apple Watch Ultra for close to a year now. Has the Ultra 2 really added anything with its second version? The only or main two options I can tell are new is the new S9 chip and the brightness that goes up to 3000 nits now. I believe my Ultra only goes to 2000 nits, but don't hold me to it. Now, we've already discussed some new features for both watches, and I will look at features of Watch OS 10 once it's released, I believe, next week. Overall, the Ultra 2 seems like the same watch to me with the, really just the new S9 chip. I just looked at Apple's website, and it appears they've already just replaced the original Ultra with the Ultra 2. Now, my initial impression is the Apple Watch Ultra 2 appears to be a minor upgrade, that doesn't impress me at first, but we can observe how this plays out once it releases and we're able to get more information about it. I will discuss in a future video if I would recommend picking up the Ultra 2 or if you'd be better off just finding the original on sale. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to respond. Drop me a like or subscribe if you enjoy my content. I appreciate your support. Have a great week.